Fine china has remained in ambiguity ever since its creation. The cold whiteness of porcelain has made it the epitome of fine dinnerware. And the art, the craft of making fine china, has a higher standard than ever before. Translucent, thin and light, yet incredibly strong and durable. Feldspars and quartz, kaolin from special mines, these are the basic elements of nature that man fashions into a work of art. Imagination, creation, a wall of clay will be transformed into any design an artist can conceive. Like some master chef, the blender will mix his ingredients with water in just the right proportions to create a liquid slip. Or to attain the correct consistency to form a malleable clay. Fine china is brought to life in many ways. One method is slip casting. The liquid slip is poured into molds to create unusually shaped objects. Jiggering acts on the same principle as a potter's wheel, shaping the clay from the inside out to create a uniform shape. Rotation pressing is a method preferred for round shapes, such as dinner plates. The plates are allowed to dry by an even current of hot air, which results in an even, perfect drying across the surface. After drying, the eyes of a craftsperson are at work, paying attention to every detail. The smallest imperfection results in the inevitable. The plates are readied for the kiln. Firing adds life and strength to the clay. The clay inherits the power of the flames becoming tougher, more resilient. The first firing is called biscuit firing. As it bakes under the intense heat, the clay shrinks slightly in size. Scrutiny, caution, exactness, quality. The plates that went into the kiln were clay. The plates that come out are biscuit ware, stronger than before, but as always, the standard is upheld. Tiny ceramic pebbles gently rub off any rough spots. the hypnotic flow of glaze. The dinnerware now receives its first coat of clothes in the guise of glaze. Sheer, glossy, transparent, yet extremely durable. The glaze actually bonds with the biscuit ware. Some fine china is glazed by hand creating an even texture over the entire surface. 
This second firing is called glossed firing. For up to 24 hours, the china will be subjected to the kiln's intense heat to seal the glaze. The body of the fine china is being carefully constructed while its soul finds origin in the artist's mind. Each decal decoration is drawn meticulously at scale. The same exacting standards applied to the making of fine china apply to the making of its decals. Each batch of paints must be judged and examined by the human eye. Decals can be duplicated by either photolithography or by the delicate art of silk screening. Each part of the screen must be touched up exactly to produce a perfect decal. One by one, thousand by thousand, each and every decal is inspected for imperfections. One by one, thousand by thousand, each and every decal is applied by the hands of a skilled craftsperson. Completion takes a back seat to care and caution. And often the only true way to achieve perfection is to decorate not by decal, but by the unerring stroke of a gold-tipped brush. Biscuit firing, glossed firing, the plate reaches the final kiln, the decoration firing. Under the heat, the decals will be given a new life. The plate has now become fine china. The fine china, art. And still a final test. A simple standard achieved. <laughs>